here for a special snack investigation unit episode. We are at Cedar Point Park. You can see some of it back here in Ohio. I'm gonna be doing fair foods. Fair foods. Well, amusement park. Amusement park. Yeah, yeah fair foods. Me and the boy are well, gonna be- Well, actually, that's right. I'm gonna go do roll coaster. What? Bye. Just me, I guess. Well, here we go. It's gonna be fun. First stop, we went for a doozy right out of the gate. If you could bring it in here. We've got the giant pickle. That's a safe bet. Safe, I mean, wow, pickle. let's see. And then we couldn't resist. Deep fried ribs with bourbon and candied jalapeno chutney. I Ugh. think that's what this smorgasbord is here. So let's and do And lots this. of napkins. And lots of napkins. Let's go. All right, first up, a pickle. That's a good pickle. <laughs> Not bad. Rate it. It's a standard one you would get. I forget what it is. It's a classic, Dill. classic Dill pickle. Mm -hmm. Big size. There's a lot of girth to it. Nice, refreshing snack on a hot day in a park. Give us a seven. All right, so I guess I got to do this with the chutney. Oh on my top. god! I think that's what that is. Wow, this is going to be messy and disgusting. And Ew. it's totally fried. I saw this coming out of the fryer. All right, here we go. Oh. It's all over so your while, face. <laughs> so while I'm chewing this, bring it in. Look at this. Ew. Look at all that fried stuff around the rib itself. The rib is dry as hell. What is it, like breading? It's like a bread. That's disgusting. The rib is perhaps the driest rib. <laughs> I'm still chewing it. I'm gonna wipe my face. Look, it's all over my Ugh. hands. All right, rate it and go. Mm. This is a two. Ew. <laughs> all right, I'm here with another classic in the fair food game. The corn dog. Looks like a solid corn dog. I'm really excited for this. I haven't had one of these in a long time. I don't think I've ever had a corn dog. You never had one? I don't think so. Well, you're gonna have to try this one after I do. Better than the ribs? <laughs> Way better than the ribs. Look at that. What is it? Like a hot dog in cornbread? That's exactly what it is. Ah. Now, I could go back and get some dipping sauce, but I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to corn dogs. This is a solid one. Again, I haven't had it in years, so I don't have the other corn dogs to rate it against. It's a solid 6.5. All right, next up, bring it in here. Look at this, this creation. I saw this, I just had to get it. Funnel cake chicken sandwich. Look at that. I don't know about this. It's a chicken sandwich with the bread is funnel cake. Ugh. Holy crap, All right, here we go. I'm gonna give this a good shot. It's probably like sweet and salty. Mm. Okay. This has no business being this good. Really? But it's fabulous. What? This is a monstrosity. This is like things that should never come together, but when you put them together, it's oh so bad that it's oh so good. The funnel cake is clearly the best part of this. The chicken is mediocre at best, but sandwiched between the funnel cake, it becomes excellent. This is an eight. What? Gross. <laughs> All right, so next up, another classic in the fair game, Dippin' Dots. I've never had these. They look disgusting. I don't know what the hell this is. is it Ice cream. It looks like plastic balls. It melts in your mouth. All right, here we go. <laughs> what a weird texture. Uh-huh. Some people love them or hate them. I'm in the hate. I don't like, now to be fair, I don't like popsicles either. And this tastes like little popsicles. Okay. They turn into ice cream in your mouth. I would never seek this out. I'd much rather have ice cream on a cone. Right, I would much rather have real ice cream than whatever this non nonsensical thing is. Two. Next up, holy moly. If I could insert sound effects right now, I'd be that. Oh! 
I haven't had a caramel apple in God knows how long. So here we go. Messy. Mmm. Can't talk. <laughs> mm. So simple. Apple, nature's candy, caramel, people's candy. Put them together. Magnificence. Magnificence. The, I don't know if a treat can get better than this. Honestly. And it's healthy because it's an apple. <laughs> right. <laughs> to 9.5. All right, next up, another classic of the fair game world, hot cashews. These were hot and they feel hot. All right, here we go. They look good, they've got some stuff all over them. I don't know what that is. Mm. That's sugar? Mm -hmm. mm. These are really good. Now, there's a little bit of recency bias going on here because I just had maybe dessert fair right. perfection. That's like Caramel nothing. Apple. Compared to a caramel apple, I wouldn't want these, but in a vacuum, in and of itself, these are really, really good. A solid, fair, fair snack, 7.1. Back, and this is a monstrosity if I've ever seen one. If you could go in here, please. What you're looking at is a mac and cheese <laughs> place that you basically can put all this crazy stuff in here. Since the producer was gonna try this with me, I had to limit myself on the craziness, but you can do brisket, you know, chicken, corn chicken, um, you know, what, whatever it's something like. What's okay. corn chicken? I don't know, popcorn chicken. <laughs> but as you see here, we've got some hot Cheetos, some bacon, some crushed Doritos going on in a regular mac and cheese. And they literally have a big thing of cheese in there that they're dumping this stuff in. So I'm expecting this to be really good. <laughs> Speechless? Right. So, I haven't had mac and cheese in forever. So maybe it's the mac and cheese nostalgia. But this is really good. And you wouldn't think the combination of Doritos, spicy Cheetos, and bacon on top of mac and cheese, or maybe you would. It's delicious. But this is really good. Producer's a little worried to try it. Well, you shouldn't be. You should be excited. I'm gonna give this a solid 8.2 of the fair food classics. You've got the classic fried chicken tender. Hand breaded as advertised everywhere. Oh, that's what they say, hand breaded? Yes, we actually saw the guy breading them. That's right. Mm -hmm. Did it. All right, here we go. Mm. Look at that. Better than the spare rib. That's real chicken. Not dry. That's real chicken. The breading is light. It's not very heavy. It's surprising. Most chicken tenders I've had at uh, carnivals or amusement parks is like the bottom rung of chicken tenders in the world. This is restaurant quality chicken tenders at Cedar Point here. This is a 7.6. All right, we're at the last one, and I gotta tell you before I eat this and tell you what exactly this monstrosity is in front of me that we haven't been eating the whole, whole thing. So <laughs> no, we, we take a few bites. We've so. taken a few bites, giving it away sometimes, you know, just throwing stuff out. Um, we just wanted to try, but it's really fun and interesting. So what this is, what we thought we'd end with is, these are, what are they? Um, funnel, funnel cake, cake fries. fries. Funnel cake fries, completely loaded. So you see it's got like marshmallow and raspberry and chocolate chips and of course the powdered sugar, some caramel in there. So this is truly loaded, disgusting, um, and probably very glorious. So here we go. Uh, as, as much as you're watching this and thinking that there's no way that that can be as good as it looks, it is. It is. It's delicious. Picture fried dough cut into French fry form with every dis disgusting topic. You can throw on top of it. It's that good. Wow. My favorite today has been the caramel apple, but this is better. This is better. So I gave that what a nine. I don't remember. Nine six, I think. This is a this is a nine point eight. 
9.8. I think we have a champion of the fair foods. Until next time, subscribe, share, spread the gospel of snack. Thank you, Cedar Point.